Hello, it's Lauren Messiah, your personal fashion stylist, and you know what time it is. It's time for a fashion question. All right, here we are. How did you develop your style, Lauren? Did you have an innate sense of what you liked since way back? I knew what I wanted to wear since I was a child. And if so, how did you develop that style? Keep it fresh, update it, refine it. All right, style development. One of my favorite things to talk about. I think developing your style and really getting in tune with what you like, what you wanna wear and why is one of the most important steps into having great style. If you don't have a plan, if you don't have like a blueprint, something developed, your style is just gonna go off the rails. I believe everyone has an innate sense of what they like and what they want to wear, but sometimes that can be not a good thing. I think you need to take what you want to wear. You said you've known since you were a child like what you like and what you want to wear. Take that and couple it with your goals in life and where you want to go, who you want to be, what you want to do. Once you take those two ingredients, then you really have something to work with as far as developing your style, keeping it fresh, keeping it new, keeping it very you. So, you know, if I just went on what I want to wear and what my like innate sense of what I should be rocking, <laughs> then I would probably be wearing boyfriend jeans, a t-shirt and a leather jacket every day of my life. Uh, I would want to say that I'd be wearing cute heels, but real talk, I would want to be comfortable because I got to walk my dog. Uh, you know, I got to do things. So I'd probably be wearing like Birkenstocks. It would just not be cute. <laughs> that doesn't line up with the goals and the things I need to do and want to do in my life. I need to be a little more professional. I need to be a little more stylish. I have to take a few more chances. So I take what I like, which is that edgy, kind of comfortable, with what I want to do, professional, badass, and blend those together. So don't just go on what you like. When it comes to developing style, the thing that I do first, and I'm totally nerd about this, and this is what I make my clients do, slash what I do for them if they hire me, is first we write some stuff down. You get out your old notebook, you start doing a little journaling of where you see your life going in the next year, in the next three years, five years. Where do you want your career to go? Where do you want your love life to go? What does your life look like with your friends and with your family? Make a very clear picture of where you're going because then you can dress for that. Instead of dressing for, I wanna be cute right now, sitting here in this chair, I need to think about the fact that I want my company to grow, or I wanna get, me, get myself a man, or I wanna be out living life more. Once I have that down on paper, I can start to visualize me dressed up for that occasion. So I write all of those things down first. Then I start getting my preferences together. What are those things, those natural things that I gravitate to, uh, towards? You know, leather, a little bit of an edge, getting all of that stuff down on paper. Now that I have a clear written plan and visuals in my head, then I start grabbing actual visuals. So I'll go on Pinterest, I'll start pinning images, I'll look in magazines, I'll look at TV shows, I'll look at movies, and I'll start grabbing things. Oh, I like this look. Oh, this outfit looks cute. And then I ask myself the important question of why. Why do I like that? Do I like it because I want to look like her? Do I like it because I wish I was cool enough to wear that? Or do I like it because it has leather? Or do I like it because she did this layering technique? And when I'm pinning images, I'm writing that stuff down in the notes so I can start to make these uh, these little mental, mental post-its in my head. Then when I'm ready to actually shop, then I've got some information to work with. So this is the plan that I go through every time I wanna make a change in my style. Write it down, create a Pinterest board, 
Um, I create a little collage out of my favorite pins. I start bookmarking things on websites that I would want to buy, even if they're things I can't afford. I'll go on Net-A-Porter and I'll do uh, a wish list of things that I wish that I had. And I'm starting to create this plan for myself. Then when I'm out actually shopping, I've got some reference points and I'm starting to pull things that work for my preferences and for my life. And every now and again, this process needs to be redone. And there's much more to the process. I'm just giving you like the Cliff Notes version. But as you evolve and change in your life, your needs are a little bit different. You know, five years down the line, I could be a mom and I could have a family and the same clothes, even though my preferences may be the same, aren't gonna work with that particular lifestyle. So I go back to the drawing board and do the process again. Or maybe I get uh, a different job. Maybe you get a promotion. Now we need to make that change again and redevelop keeping your life uh, circumstances in mind. So that's what I do to develop my style. Uh, I also constantly learn about fashion and style and think of little tweaks I can do to keep things fresh, keep things on trend, keep things refined, you know, just by reading and watching videos like these. So that's my little style development spiel. If you want me to just do it for you, <laughs> I actually have a service called Style Development. You can go to my website, um, look under the services, and you can find more information on that package. And I literally do it for you. We work together, we talk through your life, what you like, what you don't like, and I create a blueprint for you. And I even do some online shopping to help get you started. So that's like the cheap way to do it. And it's more fun because you get to hang out with me. Okay, so hope that helps. If you have a fashion question for me, drop it below the video in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe and I will catch you in the next video.